So students, we are talking about the services provided by the um, data link control sublayer. So in framing ki baat ki, then we spoke about the flow control. Now we are going to be talking about the error control. Students, in the case of error control, we have gone through the, the, the discussion of error detection and correction in real detail. Hum logo ne ye dekha tha ki kis tarah se uh, the most common type of uh, redundancy or the error detection technique that we employ in our local area systems, local area networks is of cyclic redundancy check, one of the subtypes of the cyclic codes. So it's in the case of cyclic codes, we, uh, you know that we add some redundant bits. Uh, we calculate those redundant bits at the, at the sending end. We add them or append them or augment that into our uh, main data word or the data that we need to send. And then on the receiver end, the receiver uses some sort of checker to, to check using those redundant bits if the data is corrupted or not. Of students, in the case of CRC, there can be two scenarios that can happen when you're sending frames from one end to the other. So it's the first scenario. The first scenario is that if the data is good, the data is passed on to the higher layer. In this particular case, the data link layer will pass it on to layer three. And if the data is bad, if the data is corrupted, or if there are errors in there, the data is discarded silently. So it's the second scenario is the interesting one. And, and we are going to be encountering that kind of a scenario in the discussions of this particular chapter of the textbook uh, going forward as well. In this case, what happens is if the frame is corrupted, it is silently discarded. However, if the frame is good and it is received, it is passed on to the higher layer or the layer three and an acknowledgement is sent back to the sender to tell the sender that the frame is received safely. Students, this acknowledgement is called ACK, capital A, capital C, capital K. Uh, we represent this acknowledgement with ACK, and this acknowledgement will actually form the basis of quite a bit of our error control and, and also uh, the flow control um, in, in our data link control sublayer. So it's an important concept that you need to understand. In the, in the real uh, communication systems, uh, they actually work 99.99% of these systems uh, where the reliability of the data is actually, um, you know, uh, paramount. We normally use this acknowledgement mechanism to signal back to the sender that a frame has reached safely. Our students, uh, there are two concepts in this particular case that I'm going to be talking to you about. The first one is connectionless and connection-oriented uh, protocols. Students, our data link control protocol is connectionless if um, there is no connection that is required, first of all, and then there is no relationship between the frames that we are sending. So students, um, there, are, uh, there are frames that we are sending, but all those frames are independent. There is no relationship between, the, between those frames. Connectionless does not mean that you don't have any connection or you don't have any transmission medium or physical connection between A and B. What it means is that you don't have, um, don't have any relationship between the frames that you are sending. So you can have a frame from one uh, message, and then you can have the second frame from the second message. You can have the third frame from the third message, and then we leave it up to the receiver to actually sort out those frames and how to arrange them in a proper order. Students, the second type of protocols that we have are called connection-oriented protocols. Students, in this particular case, just like I have data link layer ki discussion, connection-oriented protocols are the ones that actually establish a connection first. They do the setup. Then they do the data transfer, and then they do the um, connection teardown. They will talk to A, will talk to B, and, and, and actually reserve resources. Those resources or the links will be used to send the data or transfer the data. And then once the transfer is complete, we actually take down the link. Students, in this particular case, the frames are sent in a particular order. They have got a relationship with each other. Students, in this particular case, they are numbered and they are sent in order. And you'll see that we will employ um, acknowledgement mechanism in this particular case as well. In fact, before I leave this topic, the acknowledgement uh, concept is important because you will see that using that concept, we will actually employ the, the flow control as well. We combine the flow control and the error control. How? We do that by the receiving end, sending an acknowledgement once the frame is successfully received, um, 
the receiver sends an acknowledgement back to the sender to tell the sender, um, I acknowledge, means not just the flow control mechanism is complete, but uh, the error control mechanism is there as well. So that acknowledgement is sending the, is, is actually telling the sender, um, this frame is received, send the next one. It's also telling the sender the previous frame is received, error free.